Hey everybody, it's Dave Mattis with Remax of Reading and the Dave Mattis team, and we are here today to go and learn about comfort keepers. As you can see on the door, comforting solutions for in-home care. So we're going to meet Jen Mish and Wendy Kirshner from Comfort Keepers today and learn a little bit more about this great business. Hey guys. Hey. Hi. So we have Wendy Kirshner. Hello. And Jen Mish. Hello. And we're here at Comfort Keepers, and this would be... A West Lawn address? It is a West, West Lawn, Lawn address. address. Okay, so tell us about Comfort Keepers. Who wants to start? I'll let you. <laughs> <laughs> that was perfect. Well, okay, so I'll go. Yeah. So Comfort Keepers provides in-home care for seniors okay. across Berks County. Right. And we're here to help people find the help that they need in the house. Okay. To have their loved ones, parents, grandparents stay living at home as long as possible. Very good. So what does in-home care mean? Is it medical? Is it uh, just help around the house? I mean, what... What all categories do you guys... It's non-medical. Non-medical, okay. the technical term, the services that we help with keeping their loved ones in the home are all aspects of personal care. Okay. So things like getting up and getting dressed. Gotcha. Certainly meals and housekeeping are things that would fall within what we can, we can do. Very cool. All right. And what else could you tell us about... Uh, about comfort keepers I mean, you kind of nailed it all in the first well, do you have 45 minutes <laughs> <laughs> no a lot of things about comfort keepers is it's sometimes you know for families uncomfortable when someone first comes in their house right so we kind of have to get the whole family on the same page that we're, we're doing this for the betterment of that person right and the comfort keeper who's coming into the house they've been trained they have background screenings um, they have supervision we have oversight so we have all of it covered yeah so and that is a big wall for you to uh, climb over with, with with families I guess and what about the people that you are caring for do they have a, do they put up a, a wall as well no, or they're all they're... very accepting of service. <laughs> <laughs> no, we certainly have um, it's difficult for people right because I mean if you think about it for yourself is there a point in your life where you're like, I'm not, I don't want help? Right. So it, folks can be, I hate to say stubborn, but, you know, they get set in their ways. Gotcha. All right. So tell us about your location here. We'll just do a quick scan of your offices. I know you don't have, like, much walk-in traffic, but this is where all the magic happens, It so does, to speak. and yeah. this is where all of our caregivers come in and out of. So you'll see when you come into our office. Okay. Tomorrow is actually one of our caregiver appreciation days. Oh, fantastic. Where we celebrate Look the amazing this. caregivers. Um, throughout um, our organization that help keep our seniors safe. I'm sure that's a big, big deal. It big, is big, a huge deal. We yeah. love our caregivers and they're responsible for making this thing work. Yeah. Um, and we've been doing it since 2001. So we're very proud of the aspect of being in Berks County that long and keeping our seniors home. Very good. All right. Well, let me take a quick scan of the office here. So, you know, pretty typical. But you have your you one. Want to meet some of our peeps? Uh, we certainly can. Okay. <laughs> we hear the groans. So we have Carla over here. Hey, Carla. She's one of our schedulers. <laughs> nice sure to meet you. No, we yeah, have. Hi. <laughs> Hello. Over here we have Lee. She is our client hey, care coordinator. That's fantastic. She's one of three. I have one of those too. That's wonderful. All right. And then in <laughs> this you. room. Nice to meet you. We have Miss Sally. <laughs> she does our Hi, hiring. Welcome. Uh, how are you? Very well, thank you. You keep her busy with the hiring. Kathy in the back. Who's on the phone? Okay, all right, we'll be quiet. She's got to be on the video. Hi, Kathy. All right, so now She's we'll signing someone up. <laughs> take us down to see the training center. Awesome. Okay, right. okay so now we have come down the walkway, I guess, from your main building. You to, are correct. And this is your training center? It is our training center. Okay. So we train all of our caregivers. Okay. And you can come in and Come on and check it out. You actually have a class going on here. We're going to meet Earl later. Uh, so we have a group today, and okay. we have Margie, who is our RN trainer. Okay. So that is responsible for making it all happen and telling them everything they need to know before they get out to the house. Gotcha. Again, that's a pretty big deal. Yes. So you have a, a bed in the back? I mean, you guys really get into this. This is, is quite wonderful. If there's restraining a client... So this is what we would call our skills lab. Okay. So we bring Earl back here. All right. And we have all the adaptive equipment, the bed, the Hoyer, and we actually go through each type of service that we do, and we do hands-on and observe the caregivers, teach, train, 
and make them feel comfortable with doing the things that they're going to have to do out with the clients. Yeah, so you're just getting them as prepared as they possibly can Absolutely. be for any situation that could yep. that could possibly pe pe uh, pop up. So let's go meet Earl, and then you can tell everybody how to <laughs> so, how to find comfort keepers out there in the world. Um, the next section is going to be sound. So All right, so this is Earl. This is Earl. He's, Earl is legendary. He is. He is. So he's your practice dummy for he all is. kinds of different things? Yes. He's that... a mannequin. We don't call him dummy. <laughs> Sorry. But he's been with wow. us for a few years. Okay. Um, and it gives more of a real life um, person to be in the bed so we can actually do the bed skills um, with someone so right. um, instead of having a fake person there. It makes sense to me. Yes. He's very unique. Like, you know, he, he is. Has, he has this hearing aid. I see that. He has a dilated pupil. Wow. He does have some melanoma somewhere as well. And he also converts to a female. <laughs> this, this this video is going to be one of my all time best. I just yes, want you to know. Awesome. All right. Well, it was nice to meet you, Earl. So tell me how uh, comfort people would find comfort keepers uh, out there in the world if they want want your help. So many ways. One of the best ways is to pick up the telephone and call us. Okay. You want the number? Sure. Bro. Six ten. Yep. Six seven eight eight thousand. Okay. You certainly can access us on the internet at comfortkeepers.com. All right. And course Facebook and Facebook yeah just look up Comfort Keepers Berks County and you'll find us there too very good so anybody that needs in-home care for a relative for a friend or however that works yes. they, they can find you and depend on you thank you very much all right thank, thank you. you yeah my pleasure